Hey guys, Chad Taverny here with Vintage Point Outdoors. Just want to share with you guys another little uh, tip video here from the field. As you can see behind me, this is a food plot that I had All right, now like you just saw there, this is a food plot that I had planted last fall into buck forage oats. And as you can see, these oats are now dead, they're brown, they won't be regrowing this spring. And what I'm going to be able to do here now is I'm going to be able to come in here this spring, next weekend, and frost seed clover onto the existing vegetation, this dead vegetation. And over the course of the next few weeks, any rain and uh, the remaining few days of freezing and thawing are going to help put that soil right down into the bare dirt and that clover is going to regenerate, start to grow and it should be able to outcompete any weeds that might want to come into this food plot and this, uh, this dead oat thatch that now remains after it being a food plot last year is really going to help to conserve soil moisture in this food plot which should help get the clover that I'm going to frost seed off to an awesome start. And this should be a dynamite clover food plot that I won't even have to disc or make seed bed on now because I'm simply going to be broadcasting my clover seeds on top of last year's fall food plot, which is an annual and will no longer be growing, but creates a good seed bed for frost seeding. So that's just a little quick tip for you guys in a way that you can turn one of your last year's fall food plots into a spring summer clover field without having to do any soil preparation work with equipment whatsoever.